What is up YouTube and welcome to this Game of Thrones Season 8 video. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super, super appreciated here as we head into one of the most fun times of the year for Game of Thrones as we have the casting for the next season. And casting is always something which is quite hard to actually keep under wraps. If you're a fan of The Flash, you'll know that we knew The Elongated Man and of course The Thinker were also coming to The Flash Season 4 because we actually had the casting released. We had the casting released for Titans, the TV show. We've had the casting released for Inhumans. So casting is always something which will give us an insight into what is coming up next for our favorite TV shows. And it's been like, not even a month until Game of Thrones was off our screens. We've had less than a month to wait, but of course it is a long old time until Game of Thrones is back on our TV screens and I'm super excited for when it returns. But the casting, we can look to this until we get the next book of Game of Thrones, which, okay, it's gonna be a lot different, but I'm really excited to see what they do or what George R. R. Martin had planned and how certain scenes in season six and seven will actually be shown in the book but moving forward we do have two tidbits of casting here which could give us a very big insight as to where they're going or where we might get some actual flashbacks for season eight because game of thrones does love its flashbacks ever since we had bran and we had him with the reeds the really creepy reeds but i'm really hoping we actually get to see Howland Reed at some point on the show. Of course, we have seen him in the flashback at the Tower of Joy, but we never got to see him properly on the show in the modern modern era of Game of Thrones. But we have the first casting, which is going to be, we're going to be getting a eight-year-old northern girl who is strong, but is fearless, and is really, really powerful and is not like a normal eight-year-old, which to me, that really does scream Arya Stark. So it will be a girl, and they're looking for someone who is up to the age of 10. They're, that's, they're, they're quite flexible with that, but having this northern girl, that's literally all that it is called. Now we know that the action is obviously shifting more and more north, probably see less and less of King's Landing and Dragonstone as we have the war moving forward, especially with the fact that the war, the wall even, has actually been destroyed. So that is moving down and having, well, pretty much everyone is going to have to bear arms against the invaders. And we did see that when the wildlings, when we had Mance Raider and everyone in trying to invade and break down the wall, which they didn't succeed, albeit Tormund has been almost given a castle with Eastwatch by the sea, but that's now destroyed, sorry about that. But we saw everyone was actually given a sword to fight. Everyone in the Castle Black were made to fight and that they were forced to. So what I'm expecting here is possibly if, now I'll get to the what I actually think it's gonna be in a second, but what it could be is a Northern girl who's in the North, someone like as well, we have the Mormon child who is now head of a house, but it could be someone who is in the North and has been affected by everything that has happened, everything that has happened so far in the show and the coming war and their family has probably been killed. We did have someone like that, didn't we? in the show who is the family was killed by wildlings but then they turned their back on Jon Snow what a prick he died but that was what happened nonetheless but what I really do think this is I think this is going to be a flashback I think that this is this northern girl is definitely going to be a flashback for Lyanna Stark because we have the we we're going to look into just what the history and the the heritage of Jon Snow is and I think we're going to see more Rhaegar Targaryen and I think that the girl that we saw in the previous season when we saw Hodor and all that is going to be recast. She's going to be recast into this kid. And we might learn maybe the early days, maybe when obviously Lyanna was a child, maybe she met Rhaegar and they fell in love then. Or they, they caught, not fell in love, but they kind of got to know each other. And then that was when the seeds of their romance was actually born. So I do think that that is actually going to happen. I think that moving forward, we are going to get a Lyanna Stark flashback, and this will be the kid. Now, next up, we have got a boy aged 8 to 12 who comes from a family of soldiers. 
Now, next up, we have got a boy of 8 to 12 who is physically fit, agile, has a, a face that you can remember and is really powerful and owns every single scene he's actually in. So what do you think? Who do you think this could actually be? Possibly it could be a flashback for Gendry, but I can't really see the point of having a flashback for Gendry. There wouldn't really be much point. We know his history. We know he's a bastard. And there's not much point of going back into that and learning more about him. Possibly it could have been Robert Baratheon. However, this is someone who comes from a family of poor people and... What I would have thought would be, it would be Lyanna and, of course, Robert Baratheon. I know he's a bit older, obviously, than her, so the timings would fit. But the fact that he's coming from a poor family doesn't really fit. So I'm not too sure on this one who this could actually be. I think this might be, like I said at the start of the video, it might be someone from a northern family who is, or not even a northern family, but someone who is like a pleb or someone from, from the north. So it might be someone who has been affected by this war, everything that's happened, and the wildlings, or it's not the wildlings, sorry, the whites, have taken their land, and this kid is going to have to kind of, or maybe even this person has actually come south, come north or south or wherever, to Jon Snow, and presented him with the fact that this town's taken, this city's taken, or something like that. So I think that would fit in quite well with that. But let me know what you think on your speculation. I'd love to know who you think that these two characters could actually be. Now, what I think is really cool is happening now is the fact that obviously we had the leaks. We had massive leaks about the last season of Game of Thrones. The leaks have happened for years now. Every single season, possibly apart from the first one, I can't, because I wasn't really following the development of it. But we've had leaks and HBO and the show's creators are now going to be filming four different endings to Game of Thrones. Now, they will be filming each four, so obviously we've had drones fly over where they're filming and see everything that is going on. Now we're going to get some misinformation. We're going to get four very interesting different finales, so I expect we might get to see the Night King die. We might, obviously, as well, see everyone die. That could be two of them. Let me know what you think. What do you think the four endings could actually be? But I like the fact that they're doing this because now, even if one is leaked and they find one, well, they've still got three others, and we never know which one is actually going to be the real one. So this is a big thing they're going to want to keep under wraps because if the ending of this show is actually released or leaked, well, that would suck quite a lot. However... I can't help but think a lot of these leaks are actually HBO themselves and they are leaking all this to get more PR. Although I'm not really sure you why you would want more PR for possibly the biggest show on the planet. And one thing I didn't know is that it actually does similar figures to Walking Dead. And I thought Game of Thrones was bigger than Walking Dead. Just as another little tidbit for you there. But that's it for this video. Please drop a like. Please subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.